Okay, I'd like to show you some exercises with the ball. Now this is a rather small, medium ball, so whatever one you have will just be absolutely perfect. Don't need to go out and buy one this size. Let's just do some, um, uh, we're gonna do some squats, but we're gonna use the wall. It's gonna make it really easy, and especially if you have any issues with your knees, bad back, this is really a good modification for a chair squat or a normal squat. Now I'm gonna take this ball and I'm just gonna place it up against a wall and I'm just gonna put it right onto my lower back here. And I'm gonna extend my legs out so that I'm pressing against the ball. So the ball's not gonna go anywhere, I'm not gonna fall. And I'm gonna bend my knees. Now remember, you wanna keep your knees out, feet out far enough so that your knees do not go over your toes. Just like we did with the chair or the traditional squat. You're gonna extend the arms out. Now you see how beautiful my knees went right over my ankles. This is exactly where I want to go. Now if you feel that that's hard, you can put your hands right onto your thighs. There's no reason. This would be a little bit more core work here. And then back up. So I'm gonna exhale down. And you don't need to go any lower than comfortable. So again, if you can get a good 12 to 15 of these in and incorporate it with some of the other exercises, this will be awesome. I'm gonna also show you how to do a couple more exercises with this ball because I absolutely love it. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the ground. I'm gonna show you how to do a, a bridge uh, for the gluteus maximus and, and also for the abdominals and a really good stretch for your upper back so that we can keep that beautiful curve and nice and supple through the spine. So let's go ahead and start first with um, the abdominal exercises. Now again, you wanna put the ball so that it is comfortably onto your back. Now I'm gonna put my hands just gonna cup them very gently onto my lower, onto my neck. Now do not do this. We do not want you to pull your head up and down. We want this, these hands to be supporting the neck. But I'm gonna go ahead and lean back and I'm gonna come up. Now if you need a little bit more support, you can take your feet up against the wall so you don't go anywhere and you don't feel unstable. So I'm just exhaling as I come up and inhaling as I go down. Now notice that I'm coming down pretty far to get a good arch, but I'm only coming up here to tighten up my abs. I'm not coming all the way up like that. So again, a nice stretch through the shoulders, through the um, uh, breastplate here, and then Awesome abs. Then let's go from this, I'm gonna show you an advanced uh, abdominal exercise. Again, it's awesome when you get to this, it's gonna feel so fantastic. But again, this is an advanced move. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to want to take the ball, okay, and you're just going to wanna to put your knees on it, and you're gonna to wanna to walk your hands out. Okay, and this is just more advanced, more core work. So now I've got my knees tucked in there. I've got my hand just right over, uh, underneath my shoulders. I'm gonna extend it out, and I'm gonna bring it in. This is called a jackknife. Now, as I come in, I'm letting the air out. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Again, this is an awesome exercise. And then a lot of times what I'll do is I'll just finish it off by just stretching out through my leg there and getting a really nice stretch through this psoas muscle right here. Okay, and then you wanna just come forward and then slowly come right back up. I'm gonna show you one more exercise on the ground that I think is really good for the buttocks area. And this is really easy to do. Again, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use this as just some support. I'm gonna put my butt onto the ground there and my feet just as close to, I, just so it's a nice angle here because I'm gonna come up into a bridge. So I'm gonna extend my legs out and I'm just gonna come up and hold. Now notice that my neck is being supported here. My shoulders are supported, but my buttocks is nice and tight and I'm just holding. And then I'm gonna bring my buttocks down and then squeeze. Now if I wanted to put a weight right here to just give a little bit more pressure, I could do that as well. And I'm just going to squeeze up and down. An excellent exercises for your buttocks. So again, if you don't have a rebounder and you have one of these wonderful little balls while you're watching TV, 
let's do a little bit of movement. So if I just sat on my ball and I just was watching TV and let my arms hang, this is really simple. In fact, if you feel a little unstable, you can just put it against a wall and it's not gonna go anywhere or even in the corner of a wall and it won't go anywhere. But just that alone is gonna stimulate your lymphatic system. Another thing I love to do with this ball is when I come home and I just really feel all tensed up, I'm gonna use this to stretch my back. So I'm gonna just turn to the side here and I am just gonna allow my body to just hang over and just breathe out. And then come up and then let it go over and then up. So there you have it.